This is Afroeconomics with J.B. Bryan. Afroeconomics is a strategic financial management program designed for the advancement of black wealth in America and abroad. You deserve to have a financial advantage. What about some little priceless things that you can do each day that will pay off for you? I think of this as priceless. Some things are so valuable that you can't even put a value on them. You can't even say how much they cost, but they can pay off for you for years and years indeed. So I want you to think about the power behind changing the way you see yourself. How much of your current financial situation is because of what you've accepted, a standard that you said it's okay to be this particular way. We all want to take responsibility for that which has gone correctly. <laughs> that is that everything that's worked out for you, we say, yeah, I, I did that. Yes, I did. I worked very hard. I, I created this. But what about taking responsibility, huh? for the things that didn't. So if we change the way we look at ourselves, and we say, I am wealthy and I do these things because I have a wealthy mindset, you know, instead of accepting things that aren't right, things that you want to change, but let's just change our, it doesn't cost you anything to change the way you see yourself. So let's decide that we're worthy of wealth. Another point is to be in a rush. So many people say, I'll get to that tomorrow. You pause, go into to park <laughs> and and just sit there. Les Brown uh, has a discussion. He talked about like that you uh, for years that he just sat in park and just went to the side, like kind of pull over off the interstate and just rest. And but no, what if you don't do that? What if when things go wrong, we just rush, you know, we don't rush, but we move on through it. What if when it rains, you continue to walk outside in the rain? I did. I posted an analogy in Afroeconomics with J.B. Ryan the other day on, I said, that when it rains, people tend to just run for cover. But what if we just compare that to situations that we go through life? Because when it rains, and you run for cover, you still have to get where you're going. So if, why don't you run for cover to where you're going? <laughs> why do we, when it rains, we pull over or go somewhere else to stop other than where you're really going? But how about it's very important to plan your trip, look at the forecast, know what you're going into, and so that at least you have the expectation and you can be prepared in, uh, and you can know what's going, what, what to expect as you move forward. So stop pausing. Just continue to move forward, even if the weather changes, even if there's turbulence. Continue to move forward, move forward, go under it, go over it, go around it like an airplane, but just continue your trip and do it on purpose. So let's be in a rush to progress ourselves, to move forward, to, to do better. You're worthy of that. And stop focusing on things or people that don't help us grow financially. You know, you spend easily, you can spend a lot of time on things that have no benefit to where you're trying to go. So it costs us nothing to just stop focusing on things or people that do not help us grow. We can just stop and it can pay off for you hugely and dream big, sacrifice big. <laughs> it's OK. It's OK to give up big so that you can obtain your big dreams. But we have been told that, no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to think about that. You No, that's too much. Oh, you know, it's okay. You have enough. No, it's okay to dream big. And it's okay to sacrifice along the way in order to get 
what you've really set out to do. You don't you do not have to settle. Your decision to not settle is absolutely free. And then maximize what you have. It costs you nothing. It is completely priceless to take full advantage of everything that you already have. You can make sure that you evaluate every asset that you already have. So many people already have investment portfolios and they have no idea what they have. Oh, I don't know. It's just something I have at work. No, that's not okay. Maximize what you have and know its value. Many of you have wonderful, talented people in your family and you're not allowing them to help you grow. What about if you realize that I have everything I need, I just need to fully utilize it and maximize what you have. So many people think if I lived so and so and such, my business would be so much bigger because if it was there, there, there's so many more people. And no, we have technology and you can be huge. You can be huge. You can be as big as your uh, your mind allows you to focus on being. No more excuses. How about that? <laughs> Do you think about that one? That is a priceless, priceless advantage is to make sure you make no more excuses. And then get out of your comfort zone. Is everything that you do, are you only doing things that feel good? If it makes you uncomfortable, you're not going to do it. Well, nothing is going to change for us if we only do what is comfortable for us. If we on, only walk outside when the temperature is exactly right and the rain is not falling. And, and other than that, I'm not going to move from this comfortable zone that I'm in, well, then nothing will change. But a priceless advantage, and it costs you nothing, is to make sure you spend more time outside of your comfort zone. If it's hard for you to ask for a raise, ask for a raise. If it's hard for you to make more sales calls, make more sales calls. If it's hard for you to sit down and listen and have a huge, long conversation with your child and allow them to talk about exactly whatever they want, do it. Get outside of your comfort zone and allow them to completely control the conversation and just listen. If it's hard for you to just listen, then listen. Whatever it is, because the investment that we make no, there is no greater investment than to look at our next generation and make sure that we're understanding their mindset so that they don't have the same challenges that we have. So definitely think about getting out of your comfort zone so that everybody that's watching you will be more encouraged to make sure that they don't rest in their comfort zone because our true excellence lies above and beyond our comfort zone. Get connected. Establish a financial team. Investigate Afroeconomics membership thoroughly. Let's talk about your specific financial goals. Get a team to help you. Confidence. I believe that confident people make more money. They're more likely to work outside of their comfort zone. They're more likely to ask for what they want. They're more likely to take advantage of all of these absolutely free, positive financial advantages that are at your fingertip. Believe it. The more you take advantage of these things that I'm discussing, like keeping negative people and things out of your mindset, the more confident you will be, the more money you will make, the wiser financial decisions you will make, you will have no need to acquire material items in order to make you feel better about yourself and you will make wiser financial decisions. Take responsibility for all of your financial decisions and remove our expectations of other people. Let's, it doesn't cost anything. 
to remove your financial expectation from others. You feel that they should just give me this raise because they know that I've been here 20 years. Remove that expectation and you take financial responsibility for yourself and you ask for that raise and you tell them I deserve it because I've been here, blah, blah, blah. And I did this great performance and you make your own personal priceless commitment to standing up for yourself. You take personal financial responsibility and you remove those expectations from others and you go get what you want. Absolutely priceless. I am J.B. Bryant, and that's Afroeconomics. Today's podcast was powered by J.B. Bryant Financial Group, a registered investment advisory firm and the home of Afroeconomics in Virginia, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and New York. Don't forget to subscribe to Afroeconomics with J.B. Bryant on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and any other podcast directory. If you like what you hear, leave me a five-star review. I'm J.B. Bryan, and that's Afroeconomics at AURN.com.